It seems to be a rule at this point that the launch of a motion controller isn't complete unless accompanied by a minigame collection. For the PS3 Move, that game is Sports Champions. Included in a bundle along with the Essential Move hardware, it's aiming for the sort of showpiece status that we sports enjoy. What we get is a selection of minigames that may do a decent job of showcasing the motion controls, but lack the sort of playful character that would keep you coming back. There isn't much filler in Sports Champions. There are six events, archery, disc golf, bocce, volleyball, gladiator duels, and table tennis. And for the most part, there's enough to them to hold your interest. In most games, table tennis and disc golf being prime examples, the controls are implemented well enough that they feel reasonably close to the real thing, especially on the higher difficulty settings. One notable exception is volleyball. It's more rhythmic pantomime than a convincing replica of the sport. The gladiator duels also overreach a bit. You'll notice the limits of the implementation when your methodical swings are translated into stilted flailing on screen. There's more variety to the events than you'd assume, especially for sports that would seem inherently limited. When playing bocce, you'll be rolling balls along dilapidated piers and junk-strewn picnic areas as often as you do actual courts. It's the look that'll wear on you the most. The whole game has a boring antiseptic feel that's immediately forgettable, and the cast of characters drawn from a variety of nationalities and ethnicities end up looking like PlayStation Home's answer to the Burger King Kids Club. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> if you're dead set on picking up Move at Launch, Sports Champion is probably the best you can do. Bear in mind that you'll have to pick up two motion controllers in order to get the most out of some of the games, which amounts to a big investment for the determined early adopter. It's a decent enough showcase for the hardware, and most of the games are genuinely fun, especially with friends, but it's hard to recommend without reservation when you consider how much it'll all cost. Yeah.